I'm concerned about online issues. Um, I was initially fascinated about, about them, and I, I wrote a book about them. And, um, but I'm truly concerned about the next generation. Because if I walked around and did a poll around this room and talked to everybody about online reputation issues, I would say that probably seven out of 10 of you would say, oh my God, I am so glad there was no internet around when I was in college. <laughs> so, but there is an internet right now, and a lot of our kids and our grandkids are going online, and they're vulnerable. So those are my kids, a little, little shadowy there. That's my daughter, Emma, she's 16. That's my son, Jack, he's 14. They both go to Palmetto Senior High. And I had a long conversation with them uh, just as I was completing my book, and it was around the exact same time as the NFL draft. And so the Laramie Tunsil situation was fresh in my brain, okay? And there's something to be learned for what happened to Laramie Tunsil. And there's other things we can learn as well. So here's what I think we need to teach young people and maybe some of the older people in our lives. Number one, we have to follow the rules. Now, you may, you know, the first thing is that Laramie Tunsil smoked weed. You may love weed. You may want to, like, you may summer in Colorado and winter in Amsterdam. Fine, okay? <laughs> it's fine by me, okay? But society has another view of weed. The NFL definitely has another view of weed. And so Laramie Tunsil smoked marijuana. They took a picture of it. He lost 10 million bucks. Now, is that going to happen to your kid? Ho hopefully not. Probably not. But at the same time, the risks are there. The next point, we need to teach our kids to know who their friends are. Your friends don't take pictures of you while you're smoking marijuana with your gas mask, right? Your friends don't take pictures of you when you're passed out. Your friends don't write things on your face with a Sharpie when you're passed out, right? I tell my kids, keep your friends close and forget this, you know, whatever, Sun Tzu, Art of War. You keep your enemies far away, okay? The next thing is we have to learn not to document everything. Everything that we do is not worthy of a tweet. Everything we do is not worthy of being on Facebook. And we certainly have to learn that we do not have to document people that we know and even strangers when they're at their worst. You know? If we look at the, the parents in the room, how many times have you had a meltdown in public? How many times can you remember having a meltdown in public about your kid? A moment where you were embarrassed about how you behaved? Okay? Everybody. Yeah, you guys can raise your hand too. It's not just the moms. <laughs> moms are honest. Everybody. We lose it every once in a while. Do you want that on the internet? No. Should, should, should you take a picture of it when somebody is losing it? No. We don't need to document everything. The next one. Very important. Stop taking pictures of your private parts. <laughs> oh my God. Do you know how many people have called me who have had, their problem is they have naked pictures of themselves on the internet? It's like, it's like an epidemic. It's like it's the next Zika. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. We have to stop taking pictures of our private parts. And this is how it goes. We have to teach our daughters not to take pictures of themselves, naked pictures of themselves, right? And we have to teach our sons not to ask for them. Sexting is a two-way street, people is that we have to teach our kids about self-respect, you know? I worry about my kids. I want my kids to have a positive self-image of themselves. I think all of us think about that. We think about our kids or our grandkids. We want them to have, to, to, to be, um, have self-respect, okay? Laramie Tunsil, back to, back to him, you know? He didn't have self-respect. His, friend, his friends didn't respect him, and it ended up costing him dearly. We need to teach our kids to, be, to have self-respect. And I believe that if you have self-respect, then you'll respect others. And if we all respect each other, 
then less of this will matter. Thank you.